Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to the ninth and final part of Let's Furnish Barry Wine Acres. So this being the final part means that the lot is now up for download, and those of you who have been waiting to put it into your own game can now do so. I uploaded it to both the Exchange and Mediafire for those of you who don't have an Exchange account, and the links to, bo to both of those are in the description below. But the first thing that I did in this part was that I just fixed up a few things from the last part that I did that you guys suggested I change in the comments below. So the first was that I changed the color scheme in the bathroom from periwinkle blue and light orange to either coral and aqua or coral and mint. So I changed everything that was once periwinkle blue in the bathroom to be coral. And I tried out both aqua and mint on the walls in the bathroom. And I ended up just getting the hex codes because uh, I just wanted to make sure I got, you know, got the right colors. But I didn't really like the mint as much as the aqua, so I ended up just going back to aqua, but I made it a little bit more subtle, I guess, because I felt like it was a little bit too bright with how it was when I put it in the hex code. And I think that definitely does look a bit more youthful and vibrant, so, you know, it fits in better with it being, a, you know, two teenagers' bathroom. And another suggestion was that I swap the dresser and the pet bed because the dresser was blocking the window, which did drive me nuts a bit, so I did switch those and I tried putting the mirror there in that corner. Since, you know, I feel like the mirror and the dresser should be near each other, but then there was there- for some reason there's something I didn't quite like about it being arranged like that. I guess I felt like the pet bed should be near the chair so, you know, Gizmo can sleep on it while he's playing his games and be near him. So I moved the dresser back over there and I'll try to figure out where to put it where it wouldn't block the window. So I put it at the foot of the bed, which I think looks really nice, so it's not really blocking the window. And I just- I think that it looks really neat in that spot. And then I also had to fix something that I realized shortly after uploading the original video of this house, you know, the time-lapse one where I did the structure and the landscaping. And in the video I said that I made everything for the horse on the lower level of the barn because, you know, the horse can't get up steps. But then I realized I made it so the only way to get down to that lower area was through steps. So I'm just fixing that and making it so there's a way for the horse to get down there you know, get into everything. So I just put a gate in, you know, I use the gate from Pets so, you know, fit in with the theme. And uh, yeah, so now the horses can actually get down into there. And another thing that I did fix off camera was that I took out one of the doors, because there's two doors on the lower level of the barn, and I originally thought that horses could get through those doors, but when I was trying to take the screenshots and I had the horse go through there, you know, try to put the horse in its stall, it wouldn't go in, and I realized that the horse apparently can get through those doors. So what I did was I took out the set of doors around the side and I deleted the walls behind it and I, uh, since there was just two, you know, like a hole left from two walls being taken out, I just put columns on the side of them. So, you know, it looks relatively nice and horses, the horses can get into the barn because I think the only doors horses can get through are barn doors. And I don't believe there's uh, single story barn doors, at least I don't think there are. I think they're all just double floor and I can't really have that. So I just took the walls out and I figured that was the easiest way to fix that. But now moving on to what will be the saloon type area with a mechanical bull and a bar in it and a dance floor as well. And that's what I was saying that I would do in the last part and I think that's a neat idea. And I feel like it's kind of surprising that this family would have it in a way since they seem kind of uptight. You know, like I feel like, you know, them being technophobes and all that in the way I've described them makes them seem kind of like they're uptight. But, you know, they like to have fun. They like to get down. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to make this like western saloon themed area. So. I put the mechanical bull up on a platform because I thought that would look a little bit more interesting than just having it on the floor. You know, I put some railings on it, although um, I don't know, that might hurt if the Sims, you know, get flung off of it into the railings, although I guess they don't really, but I mean, realistically, you'd probably want to have something softer in there, like just hay surrounding it. And I did want to put something else on top of that platform there, so I just stuck a couple hay bales. I figured it looked like they could be some, you know, seats if people wanted to sit around up close to the action while someone was trying to use it. So I just took to two of those in the back side and now I'm going to be putting the little bar area. So there's not a whole lot of room here for the bar, but uh, I just use, you know, of course the larger mixology bar from Late Night and also that little bar shelf setup that came with Late Night as well, which does look really nice in there. And I actually didn't end up changing any of the patterns on that because usually I go around and change patterns, but I put that in and I felt like it was perfect the way it was. And here I'm just changing the ceiling to be wood because it was driving me nuts that they were all white. And, uh, but yeah, and I also used this, the bar that came with Late Night late night as well, and once again I used some of the default colors that came with that because it was already that old-fashioned saloon type look that I wanted. And this room isn't as heavily decorated as I usually do. Uh, there weren't really a ton of bar type decorations. I didn't really see this as being a space where you would have a bunch of 
nice pa paintings and potted plants. Um, but I did play around with trying to swap out the hanging naked bulb. I can't, I can't remember if that's what that light was called or something like that. But uh, I was swapping that out for a bar light, but then I was worried that the bar light was too busy. But uh, on the walls here, I'm just putting some of those little bar decorations that came with Late Night. You know, to go with that saloon look. And then I also am placing some of those uh, high bar, t bar height tables in there that came with Late Night, Night as well to, you know, add to that bar look. So this is just a really neat area to have, you know, if you have a party, it'd be really fun to just have everyone hang out in here. You know, I could I could see this being a really good house for entertaining because it's got this area here. It also has a really big dining room and a really big living room. You know, this is definitely a house for a family that likes to entertain a lot. So I feel like this would be a pretty fun house to play in. And I once again went back to try and put in that bar light there, uh, but it, I just kept feeling like it was too busy, you know, because that bar area was very small, you know, there's only one tile between the bar and the little shelf hutch type thing. And I also stuck a rug back there, um, just kind of a like light, like a um, mossy, moldy green type color, you know, I wanted it to look like it was a little bit worn, you know, like it wasn't a fresh green rug. And over here I put a dance floor in there, all I could fit was of course the smallest dance floor because the little mechanical bowl setup didn't really leave a whole lot of area left over. So I was just trying to get the wood to match the what was on the rust floor because I of course couldn't make it the exact same wood as what was on the floor because what was on the floor was just a... It was a floor where you just pick the colors and it, it like that that wood look isn't the actual... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. But uh, I also stuck in an old-fashioned jukebox in there because I could see that being, you know, what was in there and over here I thought it would be neat to put in a bass and a guitar. Uh, I didn't put in a piano because, you know, the the uh, cheaper electric looking piano I feel like wouldn't really fit in with this old fashioned place and then this, the other one was a little bit too big. And I also didn't put in drum sets because, you know, that also didn't really fit in with the old fashioned theme so I just put in a guitar and a bass. And uh, I also am trying to figure out some wall hangs for this area as well so I'm just keeping in with the bar light type lights. So I put this one here, which is some musical notes, and I thought that would be perfect above the jukebox. And then I put another musical type one above the guitars and bass there. And then over here I put another table. And uh, for some reason, whenever I tried putting those little lights, they wouldn't go in the center of the table. So I always had to stick them to one side. And I also put another little light type decoration. And this corner I actually did put a plant, but that it's that... To me that looks like kind of a western looking plant. I don't know, because it's like lighter and more faded looking. And I was trying to figure out what to do, because I feel like there needed to be something on that wall in the back there, because it was looking a little bit empty. So I decided on just putting this poster here that came with Showtime, and that's about all for the lower floor of the barn, so now moving on to the upper floor of it. I did initially have some trouble trying to furnish this upper area, since it is kind of an odd space to furnish, but my vision was for it to be sort of a hobby slash storage junkie type area, so this isn't really going to be the prettiest part of this house, so I started off by putting the sculpting station that came with Ambitions and also the invention station in there as well. So uh, just lots of miscellaneous hobbies. And decorating this area was really hard because once again, like the lower level, it wasn't somewhere I felt you would have a lot of nice paintings and potted plants. You know, like you're not really going to waste that kind of stuff on a barn. So this is just more like the reject furnishing type area and I was trying to look through and find some other interesting hobby type things to put in here. I tried putting in that locker as decoration but for some reason it, I just feel like it didn't really look right, you know, even after trying to change the color a couple times. So I ended up just getting rid of it and uh, I was going back to try to figure out if there was some kind of a rug I could put in there because I wanted to once again have an old dirty looking rug in there so I just took the rug that I used in the laundry area that look kind of worn and put it in there in front of the inventing station also underneath of the sculpting station and then i decided i wanted to have a little messy painting area in there as well so i put in that painting easel and then i also put in the rug that came with university life that looks like it has paint splotches all over it which is just a really handy rug to have for you know a painting type area i'm, I'm glad they added that in though because it really you know painting's kind of messy so it just goes with that whole messy look of it and you know i also put in the little art knickknacks in there as well you know like you have the protest posters up against the wall and just the painting easel and some posters and paint and I did put that painting up there initially because I thought oh maybe it was maybe it was one that they made and then I was trying to figure out if there's some other paintings that I could put in on the wall that didn't look super nice you know if there's anything else that kind of fit with that theme but I couldn't really find anything so then I was trying to find an old crappy looking sofa to put in there so I just put this 
milk crate wand that came with university life in there just like it's something kind of random you know like i said random reject furniture that they put in there they're just like you know we want to have some kind of seating in here but we don't really want to actually buy something nice we don't really have something we were throwing away so they just made a kind of makeshift couch to go in there and then i also put that what looks like two different globes type painting back there i mean i guess it's kind of nice but it's not too nice and then over on this side i wanted to put in some old looking chairs in there so i did originally put in two of these same distressed looking chairs i believe those were from the 70s 80s and 90s stuff pack but uh i feel like it was kind of weird to have um, both the same chairs and i was also trying to find some other crappy looking furniture like maybe a crappy looking end table to put in there as well but uh, i couldn't really find that and then i did take away one of those chairs and put this beat up chair from university life you know like those are just two old chairs they have and they're like you know what let's just stick them out there for seating you know no one really goes in there much and i also kind of kept stuff away from the railing because i figure you know they want to keep all this junk out of the vantage point of people who are downstairs you know <laughs> you know like it's, it's hard for them to look up and see everything that's up there so you know you don't want to have a bunch of junk sitting in front of the railings where guests can see it and i also put that desk over there that looks like it it's from university life but it looks like it has duct tape i think that's supposed to be duct tape the uh, gray stuff on it not metal yeah i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a desk that's held together by duct tape so once again another broken piece of furniture they just stuck there and another thing that i wanted to do for this was i was trying to figure out some decorations to put but then i decided you know what why don't i just go into by debug and put in some of the miscellaneous stuff from ambitions you know like the toys that you can make from the inventing station and also some of the sculptures too so yeah if you do chest testing cheats enabled true in the cheat console and then you type in by debug and then you go to miscellaneous and you know filter by ambitions you can actually get all of the toys that you can make with the inventing station and just put them in there so i thought they'd be kind of neat to have this desk be like a workstation where he refines the toys so he's got the lamp and then right under that lamp is a little doggy toy like maybe the father is trying to work on that toy for his son or maybe they just been sitting there a while ever since you know the teenage kids were younger as well i don't know there's just i just stuck lots of random little invention type things around this area because i thought they'd be really interesting and then i also find that found this metal looking chair like maybe he attempted to make a chair to save money on furniture since i guess they're pretty frugal too but that just that chair just looks awfully uncomfortable like it's got ridges in it like i just ugh, i would not want to sit in that chair so I tried putting that as a desk chair, but then I was like, you know, who would want to sit in that? So I just moved it off to the side like he made it, and then he was like, oh, well, this is not comfortable at all. And then I also found this little thing that looks like a model house, and I stuck that over there near the drafting station, because I figured, you know, maybe they drew the house design out and then made a model of it or something like that. So I felt like it was an interesting little decoration that would fit in there very well. So there's just lots of eccentric little pieces in here, and then I did stick one potted plant up here next to the drafting station. Uh, for some reason, I feel like there should be one there. You know, it's the one nice decoration in this area full of just random things. And then I did find this little elephant sculpture, so I put that next to the sculpting station. Like, maybe it's something they made, and then they're like, well, we, this doesn't really fit anywhere, so they just kind of left it there. And then I'm just going through and finding more of these miscellaneous things and then looking through all of the miscellaneous sculptures. I looked through the sculptures a little bit more, ended up picking out this interesting piece here and placed it against that one wall trying to figure out what to do with. And then over here I found this interesting circular sculpture, so I just placed that down there. And that is the last piece of furniture that I placed in this barn here, so the furnishing is now done. And here we are moving on to the screenshots. And I took a bunch of screenshots of this house, I think I took about 50 something because there was just a lot of detail that I wanted to show on this house and a lot of work went into it. I really enjoyed doing this series for you all and it was really fun to show you the process of furnishing this house in more detail than I could with an 8 times sped up speed build and a lot of you seemed to really enjoy the series which made me really happy. But for the screenshots I showed the sim, the sims from the family that I made interacting with the house as much as I could. You know, I thought that'd be interesting to show them in their element, you know, interacting with things and doing their favorite things. So, like, you just saw Molly there riding the horse. And uh, when we get into the house, you'll see some more of them in there. The exterior shots of the house are almost done with, and the last couple are just these faraway shots of the exterior, so you can really get an overview picture of everything. And the house just looks really nice from far away when you can just kind of see a little bit of everything. And now we're moving on from to the interior, and here's some pictures of the foyer. Here's that dining room that we made back in the first part. And I really love this dining room. Here's the kitchen. You can see Joyce in there cooking, and her dog Lady's just watching her, wanting to get a little bit of that food. Here's the pantry. 
And here's the living room with John the father sitting in front of the fire and his dog's just back there behind him, being near him. Here's Molly watching TV in the family TV room. Here's a shot of the guest bedroom. And here's a downstairs bathroom. There's also a couple shots of the study here, which I guess is more Joyce's room since the husband hates technology and you know, it wouldn't go anywhere near a computer. Here's that grungy looking laundry room downstairs. And now we're moving upstairs to the foyer area. Here's, you know, just a nice shot looking down at the entrance of the house. And here's the master bedroom, you know, with a nice elegant bed. And here's the master bathroom, which is definitely my favorite bathroom of this house. And now we're moving on to the nursery, which with little Robert just sitting there in his crib. And here once again is Molly's bedroom with those string lights put back in. Here is the updated bathroom for the two teens. And here's another shot of that. Here is Milo in his room playing some video games and you can see Gizmo in his little pet bed sitting there near him. And here we're moving on to the barn where the whole family went to hang out this evening. So I guess it's a little bit later from when the last couple shots were taken. So you just saw the parents over there at the bar. Molly's there on the mechanical bull and Milo's just dancing. Now we're moving on to the super cluttered upstairs area, which is just a really interesting area. Definitely not the prettiest area. And there you saw a shot of the lower area from the top area, which looks really neat. And the last few shots are of the place at night. So that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.